Welcome to Celeb Watch. Can you imagine a father burning two million dollars to keep his kid warm? Well, that's what happened. To find out everything about the story, stick with us until the very end. Manuel Escobar is the only daughter of the legendary drug king Pablo Escobar. She was apple of his eyes. Once, when the Escobar family was on the run from Colombian and American drug enforcement authorities, they lived in hideout in Midland Mountainside. Manuel had a hypothermia from the cold. Escobar did what any doting father would do. He set two million dollars in cash on fire to warm her up. Manuel was born on May 24, 1984, in Panama. She is the youngest child of Pablo and Mari Escobar. Here are some of the facts and truth about Manuela Escobar that you probably don't know. But before we start, please subscribe to our channel and make sure you ring the bell. No asylum. Manuela's life when her father was alive was dramatic. After his death, it continued to be affected. When Pablo was killed, Manuela, her brother Juan Pablo, and her mother Maria fled to Colombia. The mafia and other drug dealers wanted Pablo's family killed. The Cali cartel was demanding millions from the Escobars for reparations for Pablo's crime against them. No country would give the Escobars asylum after all the Pablo's crimes. Maria even petitioned for the Vatican for help. It wasn't until 1995, two years after Pablo's death, that Manuela, Juan Pablo, and Maria made it to Mozambique, Brazil, Ecuador, South Africa, Peru, and finally Argentina, where they lived under assumed names. Argentina only accepted them because their identities hid the fact that they were related to Pablo Escobar. Homeschooled, while living in Argentina, Manuela and her family were succeeding with their new identities. Manuela was in school. Her mother became a successful real estate agent. Then, in 1999, their identities were revealed, and a money laundering lawsuit was brought against them. The family was acquitted. There just wasn't any evidence against them. However, Manuela was frightened by the event and refused to go to school. Her mother homeschooled her from that point on. No record. Manuela is the only family member of Pablo Escobar's family which never got accused of a crime. She was just nine years old when her father died. She has maintained a very private life and low profile since then. Cut all ties. Manuela's brother had spoken to the media several times, but Manuela has remained silent. She has reportedly changed her name to Joanna Manuela Marroquin Santos. After that, she avoids the press and is not active on social medias. She cut all ties to her native country. So where is she now? Since 1999, Manuela has reportedly suffered from severe depression. Her brother has said that she has attempted to commit suicide. Manuela studied public relations and reportedly lived with her brother and his wife, who take care of her when the depression surfaces. Thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up to this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the notification bell to never miss an update.